Hey what's up guys it's Aptrix here today I'll be showing you the best settings for the RPCSX PS3 emulator on Android I'll be talking about how to fix lag how to fix graphical issues and also fix issues while importing games how to fix crashing issues and much more so you'll be able to play your favorite PS3 games on your Android devices such as God of War 3 GTA 5 Yakuza Gran Turismo Uncharted and much more but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel with that being said let's get started so guys to get started you won't be allowed to use the latest version of rpcsx simulator which was released two weeks ago because there have been lot of changes which have been made inside the simulator since then so on the official rpcsx simulator github you'll need to go to the actions tab by tapping on these three lines afterwards going to actions and here you'll be able to find the latest versions of rpcsx simulator with brand new improvements such as compatibility performance and bug fixes to get started you'll need to use the latest build which is available at the time when you are watching this video for today's video i'll be going with build number 133 you'll need to make sure that you are logged into github after simply tap on rpcsx once that has been done as usual you'll need to update your rpcsx simulator so let's get started once you open it you will get a prompt saying ui update available so make sure to tap on the update button and update the rpcsx simulator to its latest version after that the emulator will restart once that has been done simply reopen the rpcsx simulator tap on these three lines and start to apply the best settings which i'm about to show you guys so go to settings afterwards go to advanced settings go to audio and make sure to set the audio renderer as null once that has been done go to core settings make sure that preferred spu threads are set to zero you shouldn't increase this if you don't want crashing issues in many games and increase compatibility once that has been done go to the video settings make sure to set the resolution to 720 by 480p by default it will be 1280 by 720p but we don't want to use such high resolution afterwards renderer should be vulcan scroll down and make sure to disable msa after shader mode should be a synchronous shader recompiler make sure to disable write color buffers and read color buffers if you are trying to emulate games like grand theft auto 5 yakuza or lot of other games which do not get any graphical issue inside this emulator but if you do get graphical issues then make sure to enable these two options enabling these options will decrease the performance that you get while emulating your ps3 games for today's video i'll keep it disabled make sure to enable stretch to display area scroll down even more until you find the resolution scale option here you need to decrease the resolution scale as much as possible but don't go below 50% even though it goes all the way down to 25% by default it will be set to 100% but we'll go with 50 afterwards scroll down until you see the Vulcan option disable the force FIFO present mode in terms of custom driver make sure to enable the turbo mode you can also enable performance overlay by going into performance overlay to see how much performance are you getting while emulating your favorite ps3 games after that you will see a brand new option known as custom rpcsx library has been added but unfortunately it is of no use as of now so you can keep everything else as default afterwards you'll need to go to custom gpu driver here tap on the plus button afterwards choose the first option it will automatically generate or get all the latest mesa turnip adreno driver graphics driver now this is only for snapdragon processor android devices if you have a mali gpu or a snapdragon 8 elite then you can't really use this graphics driver but if you don't have them then you can use the latest may 1st 2025 graphics driver which will provide you with better graphics as well as better performance on snapdragon processor android devices once all of these important steps have been completed you will need to go back and select the game that you want to play for example let's start slow with need for speed shift when you open any ps3 game for the first time it will compile bpu models as well as spu cache etc generally it is recommended to wait at least 15 to 20 minutes until the loading is completed because it takes a good amount of time to load ps3 games on our android device anyways here we go our need for speed shift has successfully started on our android device and that too at straight up 60 fps at the top left corner so just take a look at this we are emulating the ps3 version of need for speed shift on our android device in just few simple steps after applying the best settings all of these games should become playable so let's tap on the x button and get this game loading so here i'll just go ahead and select random maps and random cars i want to tell you that even if your game freezes during loading or any moment then you have to restart the game because it will definitely work if the game boots goes in game but freezes then you have to know to not give up and lose hope because your ps3 game will indeed work inside of rpcsx simulator now here we go we get compiling shaders and as you guys can see the loading seems to be a bit stuck doesn't matter though because our need for speed shift has successfully started on our android device just take a look at this we are emulating a ps3 game on our android device but there will be a lot of freezing issues because of compiling shaders etc other than that once all the shaders are compiled it should be a very playable gameplay experience because 
once again as you can see it says compiling shaders so everything is stuck for a second the only truth about ps3 emulation on android right now is that you will need to brute force it and you will need to be patient because it takes a lot of time to make the dream of ps3 emulation on android come true and this game is completely smooth it's not even lagging at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting about 30 fps the only reason why it is a bit slow or stuttery is because of the compiling shaders obviously we are emulating a racing game on our android device so the tracks maps cars everything needs to be compiled once everything has been compiled you guys will be able to see we are getting straight up 30 to 60 fps while emulating need for speed shift on our android device so this is pretty amazing let's move on towards our next game the next game that we'll be trying out is going to be the official original god of war 3 ps3 game which is the best ps3 game ever released here we go guys our god of war 3 has successfully started now we won't be trying out the demo version because i want to show you the full experience of emulating the original god of for 3 ps3 game on our android device so here we go sony computer entertainment presents and at the top left corner you will be able to see everything is super smooth but this is only during the cutscene obviously because as soon as the game starts obviously the fps will go down a bit nonetheless let's just go ahead and start a new game at normal difficulty and you will be able to see everything is running super smoothly without any issues which is completely unexpected after the brand new updates of our pcsx emulator android the emulator has gotten very stable so you should not really face any major crashing issues apart from few occasion ones which is obviously expected even if you have a flagship PC and there we have the legendary God of War 3 intro cutscene and this is real hype so here we go the game is about to begin the moment of truth at the top left corner you will see we are getting about 20 fps almost 20 fps while emulating God of War 3 on our android device so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications as i upload similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time and before i end this video let me just go and try to beat these monsters and yeah it is running properly without any issues i'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching goodbye